Immunet Protect. This is a beta program which will work alongside your existing security programs. Installation is very simple. Now I should download the 32-bit version. Click download. Save the file. And on your desktop you'll have this little icon. Now double click it. Click run. Accept the beta testing license agreement. Click next and install. Now this will take a few minutes longer than what it actually shows here. Now this runs on Windows XP Service Pack 2 and above, Windows Vista Service Pack 1 and above, and Windows 7. Now when it's finished, it will initiate a flash scan which scans running processes and startup registry keys for threats. So all you have to do is click close and it will start the scan. You will get this little pop-up saying you're connected to the Immunet Cloud, a number of people online, and protected from over 12 million threats. Now as you can see it's scanning. It's a pretty quick scan, uh, usually taking less than a minute. This obviously depends on your machine configuration, what you have in storage, your number of running processes and so on. So we'll let it run and um, we'll see what it comes up with. Now it's 78%, 81%. That doesn't take so long. 49 seconds, no threats detected, and it's scanned 1,804 files. It's scanned the running processes and what it calls load point processes. You can start a scan at any time. If you go into settings, monitor application install. This examines all new applications that are installed on your computer, including those that you install intentionally and those that are installed unintentionally that install in the background. Monitor applications start examines all applications from the start to run on your computer. Active protection mode uh, prevents applications from being installed unless they're determined to be safe. Ethos protection is the heuristic based engine which is designed to find threats and send them to the cloud so people within the Immunet community can also be protected from them at the same time that you detect them. Uh, it also says this protection may cause a slight delay on programs executing. Cloud notifications, when enabled, you will get a little bit of information about cloud connectivity events in the lower right hand of your screen. Verbose train notifications are system train notifications. And when enabled, Immunet Protect will notify you of all file events by displaying a system tray pop up. If you scroll down, you can exclude items by file or folder, file extension or threat name. Simply add and browse for it and click apply. Now if we go to the history you can see that you get details of the path installed by and the date and these are safe, these are part of the Immunet Protect program itself and it's a known legitimate program. So everything there is fine, that's the way it should be. Now if I minimize this, move this out of the way, and I'll download some malware, and I get a pop-up warning telling me what's been installed, and I'll carry on and download a few more bits, and again you get the pop-ups telling you what has been installed. So you have an idea of what's going on. This one has been quarantined successfully. Now I have Microsoft Security Essentials here, but I have it disabled, so it's not monitoring any activity. And I have Threat Fire, which I've also turned the protection off. Now if I open up Immunet Protect, as you can see, two threats were detected, and seven clean programs were installed. Now some of those were not clean. Uh, the two that it did quarantine were the Win32 Pact. It shows you the event type, the fact that it was quarantined, the path, and the date. Uh, you can restore any items that get put here accidentally by clicking Restore. Now if I go to Scan, click Scan and just let it run. Um, this should be a bit quicker than the previous scan. And um, see what it comes back with. Now bear in mind this is a beta program. As it continues to grow, the more people that start to use it, the better it becomes. The bigger the community, the more effective. And the cloud database will also grow with it. So I'm not going to say it's a bad program by any means. It's beta, there's work to be done, it's improving, and 
I don't see any reason not to give it a try. Now, 32 seconds, no threats detected. Now, I've got these two which did download, and I will run 52.exe, and we'll see what happens. And you get a pop up test 2 and test 1, not multi, after 1, were all installed, along with a few others. So if I go into Task Manager and just end these processes, I really don't want them and I don't need them, and they shouldn't be there. They're not what I would consider to be safe, or deem them to be safe. So I would take those out. Uh, not for multi as well, that one can go. We'll end that process. And everything else looks pretty much normal. So that looks okay. So I can minimize task manager. Move that out of the way. And run IBI card. And again, we'll see what happens with this one. Uh, IBI card's running there. As you can see, the CPU and memory usage is quite low. But it's also loaded this one here, which is quite high, 97% CPU. I'll end the process. It's also installed AVGB kill sys. Now I'll end these processes. And everything else there seems to be quite normal. So we'll start a scan again, having installed these programs, which the program deemed them to be safe. I know them to be unsafe. They're actually quite dangerous. They're Trojan droppers, password stealers, and everything else that's bad about what comes along on the internet. Now, 37 seconds, it's found no threats. If we look at the history again, the system scans have come back as clean. The two threats that were quarantined were on the download earlier. So, there's a couple of things it missed there, but this will improve. So, I'll open up malware bytes. This has been updated. And I'll do a quick scan and we'll see what it comes back with. Now, as you can see, there's 25 infected objects. Trojan backdoors, Trojan banker, Trojan dropper, Trojan agent password stealers, fake alerts, downloaders, and clickers. And these are registry values, files, and registry keys. So I'll clean all of this out. And Microsoft Security Essentials has also detected five potential threats. And if we have a look at this, there's the Trojan Downloader, Trojan Win32, Trojan Clickers, which they're all bad news, and another Trojan Downloader. So I will clean computer and allow that to run and just clean the garbage off. Now malware bytes needs to be rebooted to finalize the cleaning process. I will allow MSE to finish cleaning first, and then I will come back and I will reboot. So I'll close that, click yes, and reboot the machine and come back. As you can see, now 52.exe has also disappeared as well. So it's worked, it's good news. Now for the guy who doesn't like my voice and wants to throttle me, this is for you. You can find more information on my site, which is free PC security. You'll find more information on download links. You'll also find them under more info on YouTube. If you're on my site, you're already there. And my site is www.freepcsecurity.co.uk. Give it a try. If you don't try it, you don't know. It may work for you, it may not.